Hi guys, my name is Ecat. Welcome to another Cardistry Basics tutorial. We're going to look at three ways to flick cards. There's definitely more than just three ways, but these are my three favorite ways. First one I'm going to teach you, I came up with independently, but I'm sure someone has thought of it before, but it's essentially going to be the Tenkai Flick. The Tenkai Flick, again, coming from the Tenkai position after vanishing a card, so I'll go briefly over the Tenkai and then showing you how to flick a card from that position using your thumb. Thumb. Pretty simple, pretty beginner friendly. Let's get into it. Tenkai is essentially taking the card and placing it in the middle of your palm and your thumb is going to come over and grip and this will end up being parallel to the ground so you will not see the card from here you have the palm and that's how you will grip that's the tenkai you want to keep your thumb inside and not outside and then if you do any vanishing flicks make sure to keep that thumb in as you do the throw you don't want to see the thumb and again keeping the card parallel to the ground here that's tenkai so you'll see that the card has vanished i'll back up a little bit more so you can see what that looks like now to make it flick you're going to go from here and just reveal the card and kind of squeeze both of those edges creating tension but it's, it is your thumb on the top left that's going to be the final kind of or the the bigger pressure point and then well, let me show you this way of, okay so you can hear the flick here of mainly the thumb now from this side I reveal the card and I flick it. And I'm going to also flick the wrist, okay? So this and the thumb. And what's very cool is that you can do everything one-handed here. So you're in Tenkai and right away, you're kind of vanishing and producing the card all at the same time. Next move is flick taught by Dan and Dave on And Then Some DVD. And uh, they actually credit Kathy Daly, it's a layman, and a layman taught them this move. Although if you do look into the Encyclopedia of Playing Cards, Jerry calls it the snap throw, snap throw. So um, just a flick. Flick is all about the finger position. That is the position. And that's gonna be the flick. So you can practice without the card by just having your index finger flick over your thumb like this. And so essentially you want to place that as if it was the thumb and have that bent in the card. That bend in the card is important, okay? Because the top part here is what you're going to flick. So it's okay if the card is placed like this, so it's properly angled here, but that's the part you're going to flick. So really doing that flicking motion, all of these card flicks are a bit knacky, but just practice, hold the card and just do this. Let me show you how you can go pretty high. And you can see how it boomerangs back to me. And that's how you want to catch it. Final flick I'm going to teach you is utilized in Flicker Shot by Huron. Huron is part of the Vert. This is the Vert's deck, one of the first, well, actually the first edition. My favorite colors, red and black here. And so Flicker is a move he released as a tutorial on YouTube. I'm pretty sure you can still find it, so I'm not gonna go over it in too detail. But one of the deck editions, he also released um, a tutorial which I purchased, which was Flicker Shot. So he, I'm not gonna reproduce what he did, so he basically does something in the left hand and then this in the right, and then boom. <laughs> Sorry for the sound effect, boom. <laughs> and 
he boomerangs it behind his back. It is amazing and beautiful. And um, I'm still practicing to do it behind my back. Okay, so I'm still not even there. Um, but that's because I've always learned it really flat with this, this flick. Because yes, this is the whole move, but the actual flick at the end is, is just that. And that's the easiest one of the bunch. So you're just doing this with your middle and thumb and that flicks out the card. So just practice with one card, just flicking it like this and catching. Now again, flicker, I'm not going to teach you, but I will show you slow motion a little bit how uh, I get into the position. And then you don't need to do something complex in the left hand. I prefer just doing a, um, a revolution cut because for me, I, it's one of the cuts that I don't have to think about and it gets me into this position and layman like it. And I remember I was sitting with Patrick Kuhn in, in Vegas uh, about a year ago. And um, what happened is that he noticed how I do this and he said, it's very flat how you're doing this. And if it's flat like this, it's never going to go boomerang behind your back. You really have to angle it more and it will change its, its trajectory. So really play with this. Try to get your hands on the flicker shot tutorial. Get into this position. And again, practice the trajectory here. If I incline it this way, it obviously spins differently. Okay, we're zoomed out again. I just want to show you how um, the inclination impacts the trajectory. See, I'm here, it goes like this. So most likely if I do this, like there's chances it will go behind the back here. Chances, again. Okay, that was the demonstration. But when I do it flat, I know it's going flat and I know this is for a fact going to land into this hand and it's going at a speed where I can catch it. So that's how I've mastered it. I haven't mastered it again at this angle, which gives you, you see how it's going? I'm gonna to try to do it again. Why did you throw cards? Why, why did I throw so many cards? Do you wanna pick them up for me, sweetie? Pick up the cards for me. Thank you so much for watching. Give me some encouragements with those thumbs up and let me know in the comments uh, if there are other moves in the cardistry basics category you'd like me to cover and I'll see you guys very soon.